Do you remember when spaghetti western legend Lee Van Cleef played a master ninja? <laughs> well this is the TV series right here and it's a three disc set from Kino Lorba. So join me today for the master on Blu-ray. It's going to be a fun ride. Coming to you from a basement studio somewhere down under, it's the 80s show with Australia's Retro Man. On tonight's show, Retro Man does a retrospective on the Ninja TV series, The Master, starring Lee Van Cleef. Well, what are we waiting for? Lights, camera, Retro Man! G'day viewers, Retro Man here and welcome to the 80s show, the ultimate nostalgia kick for retro fans. Now today I'll be talking about this TV series right here, The Master, starring Western legend Lee Van Cleef and Timothy Van Patten. Now The Master was the result of the ninja boom that took place in the 1980s. Actually the spark that started the ninja boom was a little film called Enter the Ninja starring Italian star Franco Nero. It was also directed by the Canon Group's Menachem Golan and starred another martial artist, a uh, Japanese guy called Sho Kashugi, who was also in The Master. Now, due to the overwhelming success of End of the Ninja, things like this followed. And The Master was a series uh, that was broadcast by the NBC network. And it only lasted one season and about 13 episodes, I think. And Kino Lorba, a number of years ago, brought it out on Blu-ray, and it looks great in HD. And this series was just so short-lived in 84, it just sort of came and went. But a lot of people discovered it on video, because what they did was they released a, I think, a pilot plus another episode, and it was released as a movie on video, and that's how people caught up with it. And it was an unusual uh, series, because you've got this spaghetti western legend here you know the star of uh, the good the bad and the ugly and sabata and all those other interesting uh, westerns lee van cleef and he was getting up there in age and this was right at the end of his career and uh, i think he'd starred in uh, a chuck norris film just prior to this he was with chuck and he'd also done uh, escape from new york you probably remember with Kurt Russell. So Lee Van Cleef was looking for other roles, but his career was slowing down. And in 1984, he was the star of The Master. He was the master ninja. And his apprentice, Timothy Van Patten, had just come off an interesting little film called Class of 1984. That was a bit of a violent teen flick that was ahead of its time, actually. It also starred Perry King as the teacher. And Michael J. Fox was in that film in a small role. Now, The Master had a cavalcade of supporting stars. And uh, we had names such as the Aussie Bond, former James Bond, George Lazenby appeared in this series. Uh, we also had other actors popping up. There was David McCullum from the uh, Man From Uncle series. And one of the biggest names, she hadn't quite made it yet, but Demi Moore appeared in a very famous episode alongside another Western actor called Claude Atkins. Now that episode uh, took place right at the start of the series and it was called Max. And what they did was they actually released, there it is there on DVD, that episode starring Demi Moore when DVDs first came out, trying to give it a little bit of a kick uh, with Demi Moore's star power. And she was just a young girl at the time. In fact, uh, she hadn't really made it at all. This was a very early role for her. But, you know, she does a fair enough job and she's certainly got that... Uh, that look for the role and uh, Lee Van Cleef well what can you say he was getting up there in age uh, there was certainly a stunt man that performed all those ninjutsu moves for Lee and uh, they did those close-ups where you could see his eyes in the suit and that's how they got away with it but uh, you know Lee was not a martial artist let's get that correct there were some people out there that fought uh, you know 
He may have been a martial artist just like Pat Morita in The Karate Kid, but we can put that to rest. Lee Van Cleef was strictly a tough guy actor, just uh, doing his little bit uh, for TV. And um, The Master, I tried watching this a number of years ago uh, when I got the uh, Blu-ray set back in 2016. And it's okay, it's a bit of a hokey action series. As I said, 13 episodes and it was over and done with. And uh, I'm looking forward to sort of revisiting it because I never got to see the end of it. And uh, I sort of had it laying around here and the other day I started thinking about it. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to revisit more of The Master. And uh, it's quite interesting. Who remembers it? Maybe you uh, happened to stumble on it on uh, video back in the day. Actually in Europe and uh, some parts of the world, they tended to take double episodes and release them as films. Certainly in Australia, that's what they did on VHS. There was uh, definitely a tape that surfaced called The Master Ninja at one point, and uh, that was a good introduction to the series. Actually, many people didn't know it was a series, they just thought it was a one-off film. But anyway, that's The Master. So do you remember the show? Tell us what you think about The Master in the comments below. And, uh, that's it guys, ninja fun, eh, during the 1980s. That's what it was all about for a short time there. People wanting to uh, get ninja stars and jump around in their backyards and uh, wouldn't you believe it, Lee Van Cleef, this Western star was part of that craze. So there we have it guys, that wraps it up. It's been an absolute pleasure. This is Retro Man, living the dream, 80s style. Stay gold. Thanks for watching. Retro Man will return faster than a boomerang and more dynamic than Lee Van Cleef in The Master. Please subscribe and good night, viewers.